Okay, a quick video on how to remove these pins. So if you have one of these computers and you're working on one of these harnesses, usually it has an orange connector on it already and you've got to modify a black connector like this one or a white connector that goes in there and there's some pins that you're going to remove. So we are going to show you how to remove some of these pins that are a pain in the butt. But I'm going to show you the easy way because I've had some of these I've taken this whole thing apart where you know you pop off your black cover It's hooked into there and it usually breaks so the black cover looks like that Let's see if you can see that so you usually take this cover off by prying up on these four so you have to be very careful especially these old ones because uh this hard plastic's been under the engine compartment and it's usually brittle, so when you pry these up, they'll usually snap off. But if you're careful, you can get them off okay. But once you get that off, and you have to delete some of these pins, let's see if you can see this without... I'm trying to get it in the sun where it's nice and bright. Okay. You don't have to take this whole thing apart where you take this cover off of the connector. All you got to do is... See this red locking clip right here that's what locks all the pins in so what I'm going to do I'm just going to push this over well, what you can do is just pry the side over like this and it clicked now that this part is slid over to the left it unlocks all the pins so what I do next Let's say, uh, okay, over here I've got all the pins marked. You can see those numbers, okay? And then we look on the our pin sheet. And here's, here's one right here, this pin 29, dark blue with brown. It's an EVAP purge return wire, which we're not going to use. So here's how we do this. We, uh, I stick a push pin in here. Get a little pin like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to stick it in this little slot. See if I can see this. It's hard to watch the video and make the video at the same time. So I'm going to stick it in this little slot. And you know there's a piece of plastic holding in the little edge of the pin. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to push it towards me because I know I'm unlocking it and then now you can almost feel it pushing against the plastic and then it comes right out of there so all I had to do was push a little bit towards the edge of the hole and you can feel the little plastic releasing. So what it does, it just holds against the edge of this. It holds against the edge of that once it's in there. So when you put it back in, you're pushing past all the waterproofing rubber in there. Let's see if you can hear it click. See, if you heard that click. So now it's locked in again. I'm gonna do it one more time. All the pins are the same. You stick your pin in there. You push it towards you well you're kind of pushing towards the metal but I'm using the tip to push against the plastic to release it and then it pulls right out so all these are the same you can do it with let's see here's pin 11 up here let's try it with this one I'll show you the same thing happens stick it in there towards the pin push it backwards and they pull it pull right out so if you were to Yank it, it'll break the little clip in there. You won't be able to use it. The hole again. So after you're done, just make sure you push this lock back down.
and it locks it back, locks all the pins back. So it clicks and then it locks. All right, so hopefully that'll help you because at first I had a hard time getting these out and you almost break it and then you realize, oh, there's this little red clip, it's holding them in and then you just have to gently pry on the lock.